In this entire training series, we are going to learn digital marketing through our artificial jewelry store. Now, the first thing that you need in order to learn digital marketing before you launch the campaigns, add copies, or create anything is to have a store, have a project. In fact, if you don't have the project, you won't know how to manage everything. You won't be able to generate the returns. In digital marketing, it's more about generating the revenue and returns for a company. So here we're going to learn everything with this project, which is the artificial jewelry store. Also, we're going to start with having a digital marketing project set up so that we can understand how do we set up a digital marketing sheet first. Once the sheet is ready, we'll be launching an e-commerce website after buying a domain and linking this website with a Shopify store. Now, people who don't know about Shopify, Shopify is an amazing solution, an amazing tool by a company which allows you to choose a theme and upload all of your products on this theme. So you don't have to get a developer. You don't have to get a designer. You don't have to wait for one or two months to get a website created. You simply have to choose a Shopify theme and then you link your domain with the Shopify theme and you start uploading the products. Simply, it can take maximum two, three days to get the website ready and then you start your sellings. Once the website is ready, we'll be doing the keyword project and media planning very important part in digital marketing we'll be doing the social media marketing and optimization we'll also be setting up our search console account to list our website on seo we'll be setting up tools like google analytics and google tag manager now people who don't know about analytics analytics is, is a user behavior tool of google which means through this tool we track how many people are coming on the website for how long they stay on the website, how many of them are males versus females, also from which device they were coming from, from which city they were coming, and then what actions they are taking on the website. So we track the entire user behavior using this analytics tool. Then we set up Merchant Center account in Google so that we can launch Shopping and Performance Max campaigns. Finally, once we have all of these things set, we'll be launching different campaigns in Google and meta which means facebook and instagram so let's get started with this sheet which is called as e-commerce business setup checkpoint sheet in fact i didn't have this sheet available i was not having sheet i thought about starting with the project planning part but then i got a call from client in fact a couple of clients who would ask me to manage their digital marketing project the latest one which i received was from a client who is based in qatar and this client is already having a uh like a store in like an offline store and he wanted me to manage his website he wanted me to market his products so i asked him okay let's get started i asked him if he is having a domain name he said no he doesn't have a domain i asked him if he's having logo mm -hmm. he said no i asked him if he's having any hosting any payment gateway any logistic partner and he has nothing of it okay then i asked him if he's having the product inventory and trust me, he has no clue about having the product inventory. Okay, then I asked him if you want to do web marketing on organic platforms or paid platforms. Again, he said, I don't know. I don't know anything about having uh, organic or paid. I asked him how much money he want to spend in digital marketing. He said, no, you tell me. So he wanted me to tell him how much to spend. Simply because he has no idea about digital marketing. So it took me a while. It took me a lot of time to explain him, bro, before you market anything, even if you are thinking about organic marketing, paid marketing, or even if you are thinking about uploading your products on marketplace, you need to have some basic understanding. You need to have some things available. At least you need to have the website. You need to have the payment gateways. You need to have the logistic partners. Or at least you need to have the product inventory set. And then it keeps happening with me. So, and then I realized it's needed that I create an entire sheet. So people understand what all things are needed before they launch any business. So if you are the one who is launching business for different clients, or maybe who is launching business for yourself, you need to go through these checkpoints. So in the e-commerce category, first of all, you have to decide your business category or the product type. In our case, for this project, we are going with the artificial jewelry store. So our product category is artificial jewelry, which I have already listed on the on this sheet. Then we have to decide the brand name. We have decided the brand name in the sheet as well. We have to decide the brand colors, very important part, because when you go for a logo or when you go for choosing the website theme, both of these things have to match with the brand logo. So in our case, we are choosing black and white as the 
colors of the brand once decided then we have to simply decide the target audience as well so in our case because it's an artificial jewelry store the target market has to be delhi which is tier a city of india then we are going to target females jewelry is more for females rather than males the age range has to be 18 to 34 now the reason why we have to decide the target audience is because while selecting the website theme while making the logo we have to realize that this product is going to cater youth and also female so the website has to be made the ux of the website or the user experience has to be made for females the design has to be made according to females and then once we have all of these things ready we can simply buy a domain from godaddy or any other domain provider then in normal website if you're not going with shopify you have to buy ssl you have to buy a hosting and then you have to link all of these things with the websites so using all of these things you have to host your website in the in the uh in the service provider so let's say in godaddy but then if you go with shopify you don't need to buy ssl or hosting so in our case we'll be simply buying the domain linking this domain with shopify shopify portal now after having this we also need to have a payment gateway a gateway through which people will be buying the products from the website now you can't do that that you launch the website and you don't have a payment gateway otherwise people won't be able to buy the products right after this payment gateway we also need to have a logistic partner someone who actually sends your product to the customer you need to have the product inventory again a product inventory is all about how many products you have to advertise number one or how many product you will be listing on the website then the product ids you have to decide id for each and every product for offline world we call it skus which means stock keeping units for the online one we call it product id once we have the ids decided we have to write the product titles the product descriptions preferred to provide the product headlines features and reviews the product pricing and then we need to have the product images in four different sizes again it seems like a lot of task like if i have talked to 10 people 10 clients who wanted to wanted me to manage their digital marketing website for e-commerce they didn't have anything anything available and they were not able to provide any of these things and failed to launch anything failed to launch their website that's why it's important that someone who is looking for marketing has the entire product inventory ready i know it's going to take a while to launch like to take to do product shoot you will be discussing uh, with a designer or a, a photographer who can come to your home and then take these photos but these are things which you need without these for product photos without the titles and descriptions you can't really list any website now the problem is how do you manage it so i have made two sheets for you even before sheets i have made this product inventory drive now clicking on this link is going to take me to this product inventory drive so if you have a client or if you are doing this for yourself you also need to have a product inventory drive this drive is going to have two pieces of information the first one is a product sheet a sheet where you list all the product information you start with listing the product id you have to assign any number to these ids it's totally up to you you have to provide the product title which means the product name the product description the product link condition the product price the most important one and the product a couple of other information now this entire sheet is made for google so when we upload any information to google merchant center account we upload in this format but then even if you are making the website you need to have four fields from this sheet one the product id title description and then the product price once you have all these four information available what you can do you can make another sub uh, drive for by the name of product images and let's say if you want to upload product first product in the website which is st underscore two you simply upload the title you upload the description you provide the pricing of that product and then you choose images from this particular folder in fact if you ask a developer to make a website for you he'll be asking you to provide all this information he can't write title description by himself he can't decide the pricing by himself he won't be taking the photos by himself so before you launch a website you need to have the product inventory ready for yourself and once you have the product inventory ready then you have to decide what sort of marketing services you are looking forward to do is it organic marketing is it paid marketing 
or is it marketplace setup which means amazon flipkart or mintra setup now in this series our focus is to make the entire website first now so let, now i hope you have an understanding what exactly things are needed what i'll be doing i'll be sharing this sheet along with this video so people who are really want to become an expert he can see this entire sheet they can understand how did they uh, what all are the requirements for an digital marketing project how do you make a project inventory what all are the possible marketing and advertisement options you have for e-commerce and then how, what all options you have for the marketplace setups then post to which it's about people who want to become an, a member or people who really want to become an intern for this training so first of all i really want you to start with deciding a project for yourself maybe you have already worked on the project maybe you have not worked on the project but then without a project trust me you cannot achieve anywhere now one of the ways is to join with me on this project which is artificial jewelry store otherwise create anything that you are good at once you have the product decided the project decided in fact you set up an online store for the project maybe with shopify maybe with wordpress maybe with any of the themes in the market but you simply have to launch a website a very basic website i'm not expecting you to design a website code a website it's all about choosing the theme and then simply launch the website using any domain and then it's time that you start making the accounts and the campaign 